This is a story about Tuskegee medical experimentation. Please subscribe and like, please. In the quiet heart of Macon County, Alabama, a young man named Eli lived oblivious to the dark family secret that would soon shatter his world. The year was 1995, but as Eli walked through the quaint town streets, he could not help but feel the weight of history pressing down on him. As he sat in his worn armchair by the window, Ellis' eyes landed upon an old yellowed photograph. It depicted a proud man with deep-set eyes and a warm smile standing amongst a group of men in military uniform. Ellis' heart skipped a beat as realization dawned this was his father, Robert. Ellis' mind raced with questions. Why did his father look so different in this photo? Why the military uniform? He decided to dig deeper into his family history and unbeknownst to him embark on a journey of truth that would change his life forever. As Eli delved deeper into the archives, he stumbled upon an article about the Tuskegee Syphilis Study, an infamous public health experiment conducted by the U.S. Public Health Service between 1932 and 1972. The study aimed to observe the natural progression of untreated syphilis in rural African-American men. Ellis' heart sank as he read the chilling details his father Robert had been a part of this horrific experiment. The revelation left him feeling betrayed angry and determined to understand the truth behind this dark chapter in American history. With newfound resolve, Eli set out on an extraordinary journey through time. He found himself transported back to the 1930s, where he met Dr. Talia Furrow Clark, the man responsible for implementing the study under the guise of benevolent medical research. Clark, a brilliant but morally compromised scientist, believed that syphilis was a disease that affected only the impoverished and racial minorities. He reasoned that observing the untreated progression of the disease in African-American men would yield valuable insights for medical science. Ellis' encounter with Clark left him feeling both horrified and intrigued. He continued his journey meeting other key figures involved in the study, including Dr. John Cutler, who conducted the initial research, and Dr. George Harrell, a local doctor who actively recruited men for the experiment. Throughout his time-metraveling adventure, Eli witnessed firsthand the hair-drenching realities that his father and other men endured during this dark period in American history. He saw their suffering, their struggles, and their hopes dashed by deceit and manipulation. Ellis' transformative journey took him to the very heart of the Tuskegee Institute, where he confronted Dr. Talia Furrow Clark about the ethical dilemma that had marred his family's history. The encounter left them both shaken as Eli demanded answers and accountability for the irreparable damage caused by the experiment. Dr. Clark faced with the unyielding anger of a son seeking truth and justice was forced to confront the consequences of his past actions. He realized that the pursuit of knowledge must always be balanced with morality and compassion. The weight of this realization left him profoundly changed. As Eli returned to his own time, he knew that he could no longer remain silent about the atrocities committed during the Tuskegee syphilis study. He vowed to share the story of his father and other men who had been unwitting victims of this ethical dilemma. Through speaking out and educating others, Eli found solace in the knowledge that their stories would not be forgotten. Throughout this 520 sentence journey, Eli discovered the power of truth, the importance of seeking answers, and the enduring consequences of a dark chapter in American history. The unseen Tuskegee shadow of Sun's quest for truth serves as a poignant reminder that the past should never be forgotten and that the pursuit of justice can heal even the deepest wounds.